Okay. Hi guys, let's look at uh, this practical session whereby uh, we have Microsoft Excel. So our question reads, uh, the government of Kenya wants to conduct a population survey for several years as shown in table one. Below, open a spreadsheet and save it as population. So the first thing guys here, as I train you in paper two, you must, uh, you must uh, uh, save exactly as it is said. So this is my work. This is my work here. So I have to save it as stored. So my work should be saved as population. That is population, just like exactly as the examiner has said. If spellings are small letters, let everything be small letters. So guys, this is what I have. Then the next question is, enter the data. We have 12 marks. So you can see my data here is, uh, is how much uh, is a uh, uh, 12 marks. So you can just adjust this one accordingly. Then also remember this one is done here. It is done by this point here, merge and center. Like for example, if I want to merge this one, I just hit merge and center. You see it becomes one so that I can be in a position to type whatever I want. This is called merge and center. So you proceed with the question. The question is, format the worksheet as it appears. Four marks, they name the worksheet as pop one. So we are renaming the worksheet. So just come to this point, double click, and rename your worksheet as pop one. Then remember to click outside and save. Then the next question reads, copy the uh, the, all the contents in, copy all the contents in, that is in uh, uh, worksheet, that is pop one to a new worksheet, you have two marks, rename it as pop two. So we are, in, we are copying all the work here, we are copying these guys, so you copy this, copy, then you go to sheet two, paste, then here, this hash, 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 means you enlarge here by double clicking. So this one is called pop, uh, pop, that is pop two, like that. So the next question reads, perform the activities in pop two, that is insert a quorum after 2010, quorum, where is 2010? Uh, this is 2010. So insert a quorum after the 2010 quorum and label it as you label it as this, you label it as total per province here. So you just go to this one, right click here, you just go to this one, that is in which sheet? We are using sheet two. So in sheet two here guys, here, here, you just come and paste this one, so you double click, and then you can also assign borders. So here, go to this point, assign borders. So we have this one here called Total, uh, this one should be uh, brought here. You can drag and drop. Uh, you can drag and drop here. This one should be brought to this point. Double click. Then you can delete this. Delete. So this is where the examiner wants us to have this one. You can put borders. This is total per province. Then we proceed and resize the quorum. I have done that accordingly. Insert a row after central and label it as total per year. So we are inserting a row after central. So we just go to where the central is. First of all, double click this one to fit or just do this. Where is central? So we just go to the question paper. Look at the central. Uh, it says central, after the central. Where is the central? Central, central, central. Central, we have the central. Central is just down there. So we, we are inserting a row after the central that is here. So we shall have number 12 here. Then we call it total per year. Also do the same. We are using sheet two, put borders. Then we proceed, guys. The next question is, it, it is projected that the population growth per decade is 10%. Calculate the estimated population for all the provinces in the years 1980, 1990, 2000, and 2010. 
1980, 1990, 2000 and this. So the population in 1970 was this. So it is projected that the population growth was 10%. We have our eight marks. So guys here, this is very simple. You just go to this point. First of all, enlarge this one. We have been told to enlarge this one accordingly. So here, you just come and type equals. You use the absolute cell reference, so dollar sign. You click on this one. Sorry, you click on this is B4. So dollar sign B, dollar sign 4, 4, uh, dollar sign B4, B4, B4. B4 should be this one, B4. So just have B4 equals, it equals to this one. This is C5, sorry. So dollar sign, dollar sign to make it absolute, then multiplied by 10%. Multiplied by 10%. 10% should be 10 over 100, it should be 0 0.1. So you multiply that. So you expect the population for this one will be this. This is times 10%. You can also times 10%. I don't think it's a big deal. 10%. 10% should be multiplied by 10%. 10%. Like that. So this is the population for this juncture. Then you just drag this downwards. You see the population, the population for this one should be, uh, just a moment, this should be this one multiplied by, let's just remove the, the dollar sign to make it relative so that it keeps on changing. So this one becomes this one, 10%, 5600 times 10%, 800. It is projected 10%. So this means we should multiply this one by 110. Guys, 110. You be smart in mathematics. This one should be times 110 because it is increase. Then total here equals to sum. Sum, open the bracket. Click that one, full colon. Click that one, cross the bracket. You see the total population. So the total population will be this one. You can also put the comma in case even if the examiner doesn't tell you. So these are the new populations. You see, I have multiplied this one multiplied by the 10, one, 10 percent. So the next point is that uh, calculate the total and out of it, we have done that one for every year, for every province. So you just go to this point. For every year, for every uh, this 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 is uh, ten percent. So this this means that uh, uh, this one again should be uh, this one this one multiplied by one ten percent, so that we can see the the new population for that juncture. Then pull down again for this one equals to this this one multiplied by one ten. 110% again, so that we can see the population in 2010, like that. To get the total population here, just type equals to sum, open the bracket, so we have the total population up to that one, full colon, up to this point, close the bracket. You can see the total population for that one, then pull this down. So guys, that is what the examiner is expecting us to do for every problem, so for you to score the eight marks. Sort the data in the table in ascending order using total column. Then create a pie chart uh, on, its own one, on, on its own sheet. You see, that is called a chart sheet. You create a pie chart on its own to show the provinces, years, and percentage, total percentage. That is province, years, and total percentage. Then you print this. So here, we are supposed to sort according to total. So here, you just highlight this, this way, then go to data menu, sort. Here, you choose the total, total for province, uh, largest to the smallest, then click on OK. So that's how the way it should be. That is total per year. So the central here is, this is, uh, let me just undo. 
we are supposed to avoid having this, the last one, the last column. So we go to sort. Yeah, we are sorting about to the total. Like that, should be like that. So uh, uh, here, from here, the total population, according to this, we, we have sorted according to, uh, this is 5 million. Let's just repeat. We are doing sort by years province. Yeah, using the total, largest to the smallest. Yeah, good. Now it's working. Central province reads and the coast province uh, trails. So after doing this, we are supposed to uh, to give the, the 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 pie chart. So the pie chart we are using this one. We are using the, that one and total population. So you hold shift, then you go to insert, then pie chart. We are using the pie chart. You can use the 3D pie chart. This pie chart of ours should be on its own sheet. So you just go to this point, move sh sheet, then go to this one and give it the name, pop chart. You see now it goes as its own worksheet. You see what I have done? I have just clicked on it, then move chart here. Then use option number one. That's what I have done. So guys, that's how question number one was supposed to be answered. Then guys, after doing this, uh, we have now completed our EXO question. You see now our EXO question is complete. We have done all the formulas. Sometimes you may need to see the formulas. So you can just highlight, highlight uh, this one. Then you just go to view, then formula. You can see the formula can see the formula. Alternatively, you can just press control, type it. You've been in a position to see all the formulas. You see now I can be in a position to see all the formulas that I have seen. So in case you forge, the examiner will be in a position to see that you have uh, really used a calculator and you did not do the question. Let's proceed to the next question. The next question is here. Uh, we have the next question. The next question is DTP. Here we have this one, design the invoice as it appears. So you are supposed to design this invoice, guys. So you just launch publisher, you launch publisher, you launch publisher. I like using publisher. So from the publisher here, uh, we always use a four. So you just go to blank, then you go, you check. That paper of ours is portrait. It is actually portrait. So you double click. This is what I have as portrait. So you can just enlarge the paper like I have done. This is so much. So from there, you can just try to see what the examiner has done. Like now the examiner is doing all this. So for that case, you can draw this uh, the way it is. Uh, you just go to this point, go to shapes, shapes there, basic shapes. You can take the shape the examiner has uh, used there uh, from that point. Mm -hmm. you, you can just check the, the shapes the examiner has used. Uh, he has used this shape. So this is the shape the examiner has used. You can flip it to, to be like you want. So this is the shape. Then the shape has been put some fill, that is some effects, texture, pattern, it has put some texture. So you just check the texture the examiner has used. He has used that one. Then he has also drawn this one uh, with X here, yeah, with an X. There with another X there. Let's put that one. Then he has really arranged this one together and then borrowed, borrowed, uh, borrowed, sorry, borrowed, borrowed the size, the size like that, and redu reduced the size. Then bring this here. Sorry. Just a moment, it seems these ones are not included. 
No, should be one. Good. It has brought in there. Again, he has also grouped or repeat to be one. You see now what I have done. Then from there, he has written using word at word at invoice. That is invoice. Invoice. In invoice invoice this is the invoice he has written reduced the size then we brought it here somewhere some somewhere somewhere like of the sort Some, 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 something of the sort in the voice. So uh, when you look at this one, you see now it is now getting the shape, the, the way the examiner has done it. So after doing this, you can reduce this size, this size. Then the next thing the examiner has done is this one with Gen Z, blah, 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 blah. So this one is just going to this point. Take this one. Take this one up to that point. Then there is this text that uh, the examiner has typed here. Yeah. Right click, go to add text. Then you type your text there. So the text has been typed there. Then increase the size bracket like that. Then there is this green, this green stuff, this one. There is this green line. So the examiner just came to this point and drew this one here. Oval in shape, a bit over. Then green color, just go to green color here. Green color to green. Put the, 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 the green, also increase the size. The size the examiner has increased, he has used the other green, the dark green. Then right click. Add text, right click, sorry guys, right click, add text. Just type the text the examiner has typed there. Then increase the size. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Increase the size. This is what the examiner has done. Um, I bring it up to it. Up to Gmail, build to. Pasted it twice. Good. That's what the examiner has done. But this one is somewhere there. So this one, you can just arrange, order, bring font. So this one should be sent back. Arrange, order, send back. should be sent back order send back okay then after doing that one the examiner has now drawn this table you see there is this table this table this table the examiner has drawn one two three four so you need to, to draw that one just go to uh, table then you need to draw the table here the table you reduce the sizes later on yeah. He has four columns, mm, rows, it has around seven rows, let's put eight. So this is what we have as our table, but this table of ours need to be formatted. So you, you right click, go to format, you put the borders, just like I have done. Then this part, the first part here, this is the description. Description. 
species description we have quantity stroke hr we have unity price unit price and we have the total so this we don't need these fields we don't need this one we don't need this one Here are some fields we don't need. So I need this. So we just go to this point. We draw table. Draw table. Columns we need for rows can have at least eight so that we can have good. Then don't forget to right click, go to format table, then put the, the borders. So this is what we have. Then this one is, is shaded, so you just shade. Shade that one with the gray. Go to more colors, choose gray and shade. Then this one also is borrowed, somehow borrowed. Borrowed and also bigger in size, like that. Then can you just pull this a bit? Then from there, uh, we have now the data. We have the data that has been put here. We have this data that the examiner has put inside the, the table, like that. So we did the data. The data not in this one, this one is not required. So this is the data I have. Can just increase the size of the data. The data can increase the data. So once I do this, uh, after increasing the data, I can have the, the the other parts. The other parts we have subtotal here. We have subtotal this data here. We have subtotal here. That is just down here. You can have the subtotal. Sorry. You can just type the data that is required. Uh, that is the subtotal. We have the subtotal. The subtotal that is below here. You can have the subtotal. We can have discount. Discount. We can have total tax. We can have balance. Balance due. Then you can have here typed, you have 18,600, you have 1,000, 1,000, you can have 3,300, and then you have balance of 17,300. Then here you can just draw the line, it is a, a single line here, drawn here. Up to there, you can also increase the size of the, of the line. Here, you can do the necessary up to that point, like that. J just try to be to be keen on this. Like, for example, this one you can just increase. You see now, you can increase like that. Then, I need this one to be bored, just like the examiner has done. Also, this one, I need this one to be bored. But uh, here, you can just put uh, a, 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 that is a, 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 a space like that, so, so that you can be in a position to, to draw the, the line that you wish to have. So here it's just a matter of being very creative, very creative. This is a matter of being very creative and also try to avoid this line from going uh, outside the box. So guys, in short, this is what is expected. Then from there, there is this box here, there is this box. There is this box the examiner has drawn there. It is blue in color. 
So you just change the color to blue and then uh, broaden the line. Then inside right click, go to text here so that you can just now just have the text that uh, is required there. So we need to have the text there and then you can hold control bracket to increase the text. Then there is uh, a bit of, this is in, a bit inside like that. Then we have some stars. Go to shape, go to stars, just take the star, the star is here, the star, the, the examiner has put the star there, and then increased, increased the size, the, 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 the text, that is the name of the star. Then there is another different star. So you, you, ju you just choose the star that the examiner has used, I think he has used this one. Just put the size that uh, the examiner wants. So I can remove this one, copy paste this, copy paste, then take this one, or take one here to that point. Then there is this text here, down here, curved. That, thank you, the text is here. The text is here, this one. Thank you for business, for doing business with us. So this one you click on OK. This one you can just carve it the way you want. This is uh, blue in color. So uh, click on it. Then you can just change the color, the color of the text to blue. And then you can use this one to carve, this one to carve, or this one to bring it this way. So thank you for, thank you for business. Then you can just reduce the the size of this one, like that. So guys, in short, you have grasped all the concepts that the examiner was expecting to do this. Guys, remember you can download copies of these, uh, these questions from my website. The URL is just below uh, this video. So the, the last part is this one here. The last part that I didn't put is this one, so you just go to this point here, put it here, it should be down there, there, right click, add text, so I have my text there. So this text of mine, just hold control bracket to make sure it is somehow organized. This one can just go back like that. Then, once you do that, once you do that, like that, once you, you, you arrange it like that, this one should be up there. Once you do that, you click on this, go to the range shape here, style, you change, then increase the size of the line so that it can be like that. So guys, that is how you are supposed to uh, tackle this question. In case there is a difference in the line style, you just click on it, then choose the, the correct line style, like that. So guys, that's how you are supposed to tackle that question from start to last using uh, Microsoft Excel, that is the first question, and also using Microsoft Publisher. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to like my videos, and also come back to my channel again to see what's new. Thank you very much.